saw, be able to finish the job. But um, got a third of it taken apart, and that I'll take this to the dump today, and then I'll plan to take that to the dump some other part of the day. Um, so I should have time to fix the snow saw. I can fix the snow saw. I turn another piece right now. I take two pieces with me to the office dumpster. But it's broken. I don't have time to fix it. So I'm gonna toss this in the backyard for now, and then uh, head out. I'm gonna get a little baby swing. Um, toss that out. Get my dad's table saw back, and then take care of the dogs. And whatever. We had two great showings today. So we're thankful for that. And I should have more dashboards in my car, so I should be able to work out before I go doing that. But I don't have time to do that. I gotta go get all that stuff done. So I'm not gonna work out. Go get all that stuff. See you guys on the next one. Okay, I'm gonna get a bunch of Gatorades at Walmart too. I'm dying. Um, today's the 28th. You guys uh, heard on that last conversation expecting an offer on Paul and I's condo that we've got listed. Um, I've got a lady wanting me to look at her house out in Piedmont. I'm probably going to kick Tracy on it. Um, unless they could see me Wednesday. Man, I need to kick Tracy on it. I really, I just really do. Um, going to go drop off table saw to my dad I wish I could hang out with him more tonight but I can't I've got work to do um, how about taking that mattress apart um, once you cut the outside layers it's easy to tear the springs apart they're just barely glued together so um, it'll be a third it'll be three trips to get rid of that mattress but I'll be able to do it so that's it guys um, I'm pretty sure I shut my garage um, but let's go double check yep yep it's shut okay let's get out of here my neighbor's house is for sale I bet I would have bought that house if it was for sale when I was looking incoming for call Press the pickup button to answer. I'm pretty sure I would have. So bright out. I went to Walmart, got Abby a little swing. Super excited about that. God's blessed us, so we're able to do stuff like that. Super thankful for that. Saw my dad, dropped off his table saw. Uh, going to the house to take care of the dogs. I'm going to run in, feed the dogs immediately. Then I'm going to turn on the sprinklers sweep the floors and then feed the dogs again and then go home that's what I'm going to do I'm going to double feed them tonight uh, I don't know I just I miss them I need to get the fence built at the new place and get them moved over so yeah talk to Brad about foreclosures there's three different types of foreclosures. There's ones that have already been foreclosed upon, and you can buy them on the MLS. Those are the ones 
that regular people using regular loans can buy or they can use rehab loans to buy. The other two types of foreclosures that people can pick up are foreclosures at the sheriff's sale, which you go down, you bid, you win, you put 10% down after the confirmation hearing, you cut them the check for the rest of it, then you get the house. And then there's getting them before they go to the sheriff's sale, but in between the time that the less pins has been filed and when they're going to the sheriff's sale. Because still, when a less pins is filed, it doesn't mean that a house is necessarily going to be foreclosed upon. The seller can still sell it. And I've helped two sellers do that before. Two sellers in the last 12 years do that before. Um, I don't prospect those deals. I don't actively seek those types of deals. But they can be done. I do know that. Those, uh, you could use a traditional loan on too if the owner is willing to work with you. But if the owner is willing to work with you, then they have equity in the house. They don't want to lose it. If they don't have equity in the house, they're not willing to work with anyone because then it's just another process delaying what's inevitably going to happen. They're going to lose the house. But if someone has equity in a house that they just for some, for some odd reason can't make payments on anymore... Those people will work to get their houses sold so they can get that equity out. So those are three types of foreclosures. Ones that have already been foreclosed upon and on the MLS, those are the easiest. The ones at the sheriff's sale that you bid on, and then the ones that have the less pins filed, but they are still 90 days out from even the first hearing before it even goes to gets approved for a sheriff's sale. So anyways, hope you guys find that informative. Uh, put any questions or comments down below. I'll be happy to get them answered for you. Josh Barnett, Better Hopes Garden Real Estate Paramount. See you guys on the next clip. And tomorrow's busy, super busy. Like I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film tomorrow or not because it's gonna be back to back to back appointments all day long. Got another closing. I'll probably film. I'll probably film since I got another closing because those are those are those are always fun. That's what we're in this business for is help people close. So yeah, I'll probably film tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Looking for the home of your dreams? This spacious property offers over 4,600 square feet of living space, featuring four bedrooms. with three full and one half bathroom. This property is currently listed for under $600,000. This property is currently listed for under $600,000. This spacious property offers over 4,600 square feet of living space, featuring four bedrooms, For more information or to schedule the showing, please contact the listing agent.